Um, so like on my left side, I was punctured a little bit in my left lung and then he kind of messed up my diaphragm. So I actually have about 30 staples going from my belly button up my stomach um, where they had to go in to fix my diaphragm. And then they had to put in a chest tube. And then I did have a nose tube that kind of went all the way through. So I'll kind of give, like I said, this is my side of the story. This is nobody else's. I'm not willing to give out a lot of names, anything like that. Um, and to be honest, I was drinking that day. So things are blurry. I don't have a whole lot to say because I was the first victim. So I kind of just had paid attention to myself at the end of it. Um, but I will give from what I'm aware of what happened. Mm -hmm. um, so we were tubing. I was probably with about 10 other people, um, a mix of girls and boys. And one of the boys, when we were tubing down the river, had said that a group had looked uncomfortable. And I don't recall if it was like, a, I thought it was a group of girls that they had said was uncomfortable. Um, so my other friends and I just kind of hung out on the tube. A couple of the boys left to go kind of see this group and figure out what was going on. Um, and it was a little bit of time. I don't know how much time like in between, but finally I was like, all right, like, let's go see what's going on. Um, I asked a couple of my girlfriends to come with me. Um, we went over to the group and I don't know who had said something, but somebody had mentioned something about there being an older man there. And they thought he was kind of creepy, being a little weird, asking for like inappropriate things like for younger women and things like that. That's what I was, had heard. I don't know if that's exactly true. Um, but after that point, a friend of mine had kind of, I think, went up to the older man or he came up to us. I don't know that exact point. Um, but she had told him, you need to leave. Like, you need to go. You need to get away. And he kind of stood there for a second and then punched her in the face. Um, and after that, it was still a little bit blurry for me. I'm still trying to put those pieces together. Um, but what I remember is I'm like, oh my God, like, are you okay? Like, that was like, not what I expected to happen to you. Um, and then I don't know if I said something to the older man. I don't know if I had hit him because I was upset or if somebody else had came and hit him. But I just remember him kind of turning towards me and we're both kind of staring at each other, probably a couple feet away from each other at most. Um, and he kind of just stared at me for a second. And he pretty much like, not like lunged at me, but kind of just like leaned forward a little bit. And I thought he had punched me in my stomach. Um, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Like I was telling my friends, I was like, I think he, he punched me really hard. Like this feels weird. And we both had looked down and I instantly was bleeding. Um, I obviously was stabbed like instantly. Um, I didn't really see a knife. I recall maybe something kind of poking out of his fingers, kind of like this. Um, holding down by his side but I don't recall for sure if it was a blade or not um my friend instantly you know saw that I was bleeding out and yelled to my other friends you need to call 911 and to be honest after that no idea what happened um I remember holding my wound kind of walking around see, like just kind of like asking everybody like what do I do do I walk do I go find help do I lay down on a tube like I'm, I feel like I'm dying like what do I do Everybody's like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do. Um, I honestly didn't even know anybody else was stabbed. I was not paying attention to any of that. I was focused on myself because I was so scared and just so worked up and anxious. I honestly have no idea. Like I said, I was drinking. So like, I wasn't even focused on what was going on. I just remember them saying that a group had felt uncomfortable, kind of just hanging out for a second and then getting off my two, our two, ourselves kind of going over there but it's it's really a lot blurrier than I thought it was going to be for me I try to every day I try to put some more pieces back together and I just I can't and did he go and like cold cock that girl from your memory or was she just lipping off to him like did you all of a sudden you just see the punch get thrown pretty much I just remember her saying like you need to go like go like go and he literally just boom at first I thought he had slapped her because I was like I said, I was just kind of not comprehensive, but no, he, he did have, um, end up punching her. So I'm pissed. I am very, 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 very angry because I have to almost like relive my life and relearn how to live. I have to, I mean, I have to have people sh help me shower, go to the bathroom. Um, 
it's I, I choke on water sometimes like just like every little thing like that it's just it's insane that you things can escalate so fast and that people just don't care about anybody in this world and the, the world is just getting sadder and sadder it's it's a very very scary place to live in and it makes me want to stay home for the rest of my life so I'm more I'm more angry than I am sad I mean I have my moments like I said but I am very very angry I mean I'm very happy that I was able to kind of go over and help the situation but I'm kind of angry at myself at the same time for even getting involved.